Hey, hey, see you in church. Hi, I'm Manuel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a little message. Let me know something you'd like me to talk about. And put the hand up. I always do it at the beginning because I have the tendency to forget and I won't return. Unless the conversation is very good, and I hope all my conversations are. So, leave me a message of what you think about my conversations. This, I think I've talked about this before. I think before I just showed the videos and everything. And I was going to do that again. But, I think I'm going to go ahead and make a video instead. And talk about what how things are I remember when I was younger drama was happening in California and in the Hispanic world police officers were driving their cars really fast through the neighborhood almost killing people old people young people and Technically, that's how gangs appeared in California. They were putting themselves in the place of police officers to protect their neighborhoods. Why? Because the police officers were the new criminal. And this is the information I got from a young lady who lived in California when that started. We all got it when I was old enough to work or them accept me as a worker. I learned about my background of being Hispanic and how little the police thought of the people and I saw that all my life of bad cop bad cop <laughs> never saw a good cop until I grew older until I was growing into who I really am gonna be and I saw these really nice cops, but I still saw a lot of bad cops. And what I mean by that is I go to work, I meet a friend on Sunday, we talk, we have a good time. There's a bartender mother and she talks to me and she becomes like a mother and she watches over me. She knows I'm there because I have friends and I talk to them. And these are friends that I went to grammar with and high school that are going to this club. And on the way walking home, I hear from behind me a faggot. What are you doing out here, faggot? And I just keep walking. Why? Because as I cross that street, I saw police coming. Well, I thought, okay, maybe I'll be safe. There's a police over there. Little did I know that was the police making those remarks. He didn't know whether I was or not. He didn't know anything. All he saw was a person who stopped off at a bar after work, walking home, sober. And he decided to throw stones. 
then as I got older, I meet an older man and he tells me of what it was like living in New York at Stonewall and the police killing gays, transgender, drag queens, not caring, just killing them. Oh, they committed suicide in front of me. Uh-huh, sure they did. And them getting away with murder. Then you have the Stonewall Riots, which stopped that. Then you had San Francisco Riots, which stopped that. And you remember way back, you had also a big riot before with black people having to do that to stop the police again. And here we go. The police again are back to their games. They're taking the lives of our young people. They're killing them without a forethought, thinking, oh, I'll get away with it. We have TV shows portraying this drama. You have people killing in the streets and because the person used to be a cop used to be working for the district attorney's department they're gonna let him get away with it until people stood up to it the bad thing is our president doesn't care i'll let them handle it that's his answer he doesn't say, well, let's have the FBI look into it and blah, blah, blah. No, he has no interest because he does not care. Just like he did not care when he closed everything down. And all those people were going to lose their medical. I never heard him say, well, we're going to take up when people go to the hospital and protect them. Nope, I never heard that. All I heard was, oh, when they're in unemployment, I'll give them a few bucks. That ain't going to pay my bills. I didn't get any of that. And all those people, nothing got done for that poor guy that got killed. And before that, the other one that got killed and before that, and before that, the person that got killed because of Skittles. They're getting off for murdering. We're all human beings. We deserve to live. It is tiring to constantly have to fight for our rights. We go to places um, and fight for the right just to be happy. The right to be with who's special to you, whether you're gay, heterosexual, transgender, lesbian, on and on and on. And you have idiots, straight people, who say, we won, we won. And I tell them, what did you win? I said, think about it. If your girlfriend for any reason goes into a coma, you have no rights anymore. You just lost your rights. Got passed. They would have had to 
let you know where she was going, how she is, whatever, because you two are together with each other. But because you fought against it, now you have no rights. Her parents can grab and take off. She, you're, she was going to be your wife, but now you have no rights because you're not married. And that's why we fought for the rights to get married. Because if for any reason you have a piece of garbage of a family who decides to take you away while you are in a coma, you wake up in another country. You wake up wherever the hell it is, but the person you love the most is not there with you because they are playing some garbage game with your life. You have nothing to, you know, you come out of that coma, they are saying, oh, Lord, thank the Lord. No. No. Now they're going to throw you out because you won't kiss their butt. And that's the thing. We have to stand up for ourselves and we got to stop letting these people do what they do. Always, all these bureaucrats constantly treating us like garbage and we keep taking it up the wazoo. Here is a piece of garbage running for presidency and another one running for presidency. And we don't know if he even is a second generation American. And then you got this other idiot that says, oh, I destroyed cities and closed them down and pat myself in the back. But he's not telling us how he's going to help us. Is he going to continue building that stupid wall that doesn't stick to nothing? That useless wall, because it's in the wrong place. I'm sorry. All the jobs are being taken from the Canadian side. We got a show called... Americans Got Talent, but nobody there is from America. Everybody there is from another country. You got Howie Mandel, Canadian. You got, what's his name? English. You got Heidi, who's from Switzerland. I mean, get a hint. No one, not one of those people on that show are American. And you're here, even from Japan, from China, coming in and trying to win. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is about this country, not everywhere else. If you want to be an American, I understand that. We're a great country. But the point is, is that if we keep letting people like Trump become president, we won't have a country to live in because he's allowing this country to be sold to every other country. I heard from his people, oh, no, the Russians, the Russians. It ended up Trump was with the Russians. Now we're hearing from his people again, oh, China, China, China. Yeah, we'll probably hear he was the one with China. Give me a break. Give us all a break. And let's get rid of the two of them and start from scratch. But first, let's take care of the people in America. Let's help our farm workers. Let's help our citizens. Because today, it's a black man. Tomorrow, a Mexican. The next day, a Chinese. The next day, who knows? Let's 
stop it before it is the next day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a little message, put the hand up, and let me know what you think and a topic to talk about. But remember, AA, see you in church.